Namaste. And welcome to this three-part series. In part one of this series, we'll be working with all the major joints in the body, bringing movement to them with the breath and allowing them to loosen and open and allowing the flow of energy to move through the joints. Most of these exercises can be done even sitting on a chair or sitting in any comfortable position. If maybe sitting on the floor is not so comfortable. We begin sitting in our base position. Legs stretched out in front, fingertips go behind the hips. Just lean back, press the heels slightly out, extending the legs and just close the eyes and relax the body. Begin to become aware of the breath moving through the body. Feel the movements of the chest as it gently rises and falls as you inhale and exhale. Notice the sensation of the palms on the floor. Notice the backs of the legs on the floor. Once again, notice the breath, the natural breath moving through the body. Go ahead and begin to blink the eyes open. Take a deep breath in and exhale completely. Inhale, bring the toes back and exhale, curl the toes in. Inhale, reach the toes back and exhale, curl them in. So awareness here on the movements of the toes. Awareness on moving the toes with the breath. So you begin to pull the toes as far back as you can and then curl them in. Now it's really not so important how many of these you do, but more important, the quality of the movement. It's really nice and easy, no struggle throughout the practice at all. Just moving the body with the breath. And release that movement. We'll take one breath, just a nice deep inhale and long exhale. We're going to do the same movement, but now with the ankle. So pulling the whole foot back, heels press forward. And then as you exhale, toes, bottom of the feet come towards the floor. So inhale, bringing them back and exhale, pointing them forward. Inhale, back and exhale, forward. Again, see if you can find your own breath. Move the body with your breath slowly so you can feel the movements in the body. There's no rush, no hurry. In fact, the slower, the better. And then bring the feet back to center. And then take the feet slightly apart. Just bring a little more ease into your stance. We're gonna to begin to make circles with the ankles. Bring the toes together and then take them far apart. So as you exhale, the toes move away from the body. Inhale, they come inward. Again, just noticing the range of motion. Sometimes one side might be a little bit easier than the other side. Awareness on the ankle. We're moving the body from the ankle. And then opposite direction. Same, move the breath, inhale, toes come up, exhale, toes move away. And then bring the legs back to stillness. I'm gonna walk the hands back up. Taking the right ankle now onto the left thigh, I'm gonna do a similar movement for the ankle holding on to the base of the foot, begin to make circles with the right ankle. So maybe making the circles a little bit bigger. And then we go in the opposite direction. Again, nice and easy. Don't force the joints in any way. The more you practice, 
the more they will loosen up and open, movements will become more fluid. And we'll take that leg, extend it back out in front, and bring the left leg in. Ankle on top of the thigh. Make sure you have enough space so the ankle is able to move freely. Begin to make circles, holding the base of the left foot. Bringing your awareness to the movements of the ankle. And the opposite direction. Circle the ankle in the opposite direction. Extend the legs out in front. Take a breath, just in neutral, relax shoulders, relax the whole body. As you inhale, we're gonna bring the right knee in toward the chest. Keep the heel off the floor. We're gonna interlace the hands behind that right thigh. Still find length in the spine. Now if the leg doesn't come back close, that's okay. But bring the thigh as close as you can towards the chest. Let the, the heel just be loose and hang down towards the body. As you inhale, straight leg, straight arms. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, straighten, exhale, keep sitting up tall, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Hug the knee in here, one breath, inhale, exhale completely. We're going to begin to move from that knee joint. So only the lower part of the leg is gonna move. Begin to make circles, clockwise. And the circles don't have to be so big, but try to get them as big as is comfortable. Maybe straightening up the leg as you point the toes upward. Then we go opposite direction, same thing. Maybe make the circles a little bit bigger. And then once again, hugging the knee in toward the chest. We're gonna take the right ankle back on top of the left thigh. Left hand will hold the top of the foot and the right hand is gonna be on the right knee. Now it's very important to do this very gently. I'm gonna press the knee down and let it spring back up. Press the knee down and let it spring back up. So only let the knee go as far as it goes. Now if your hips are tight, it might not move so much, the knee may be very high, and that's okay. Just press it down towards the floor and release. Let it spring back up. And we're gonna lift that leg back up, extend it out in front. Take the hands behind, base position, chest relax, shoulders relax, close the eyes. And take a moment just to feel the right leg, feel the left leg. Notice any differences, notice any effects from the exercises we just did on the right side. And go ahead, open the eyes. We'll take it on the second side. So as you inhale, left leg comes in toward the chest. Interlace the hands behind the thigh. Let the heel drop down close to the body. Sit up tall. Inhale, straight leg, straight arms. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, straighten, and exhale, pull it in. Inhale, and exhale. And you, if you like, you can go a little bit slower, follow your own breath. Inhale, straighten, exhale, draw it in. Keep the spine lengthening upward. Keep the breath moving. Awareness on the movements of the leg, joined to the breath. Last one, inhale, straighten, and exhale, hug the knee in. We're gonna take one breath here, and now begin to move the lower part of the leg. Circles, clockwise. So moving from the knee joint. Maybe begin to make the circles a little bigger if you can. Maybe begin to straighten up the leg, 
Let the heel drop down. And at first, these movements, even though they're simple, they might feel a little bit weird. Go the opposite direction. But the more you practice, they will become easier. Your body will begin to open, to soften. And back to center. Now we're gonna take the left ankle on top of the right thigh, coming into half butterfly. So right hand rests on top of the foot. Left hand is gonna gently press the knee down and let it spring up. Gently press it down and let it spring up. With time, the knee will draw down towards the floor. But until it gets there, don't force it. Never ever force the knee down. This practice is to benefit the body, to heal, not hurt and harm. You're gonna lift the leg back off, extend it out in front. Again, base position, fingers behind, close the eyes. We'll take three breaths here. Feeling the right leg, feeling the left leg, feeling all the joints, all the parts of the body that we just worked. Relax. And open the eyes. From here, we're gonna come into a full butterfly. So soles of the feet come together, knees open out to the side. And your feet might be a little bit away from the body and that's perfectly fine. They're a little bit closer, that's also okay. Interlace the fingers underneath the toes and very gently we're gonna bounce the knees up and down. Again, we're kind of letting, pressing them down and letting them spring up. Press them down and let them spring up. Press them down and let them spring up. Press them down, let them spring up. Let's do this three more times. And relax. We'll take the hands on either sides of the knees, draw the knees in. From here, take any comfortable seated posture. You can keep the legs outstretched, you can sit in any, any easy cross leg position. We're going to be working now with the fingers, with the wrists. So extend the arms out in front, palms face upward, reach through the fingertips, elbows lift. So open up the hand wide, and as you exhale, thumbs curl in, fingers go over. Inhale, open the hands nice and slow. Exhale, thumb, fingers curl and squeeze. Inhale, nice and slow. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open. Exhale, clench into a fist. Inhale, last two. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now if your arms feel a little tired, you can bring them down, but if you can, try to keep the arms stretched out in the front. This will build a little bit of upper body strength. But if it's really uncomfortable, feel free to bend the elbows. We're gonna make circles with the wrists, so just one way, nice and easy. Whether your arms are bent, or arms are straight, and then opposite direction, moving from the wrist. Try to make the circles as big as you can. And again, notice the movement. If you're right-handed, you might find the movements easier with the right side of the body. And it's similar if you're left-handed. But with practice, it should become easy on both sides. Once again, extending the arms out in front, palms, Facing forward, press the base of the palm forward and pull the fingers back. This is what you do when you inhale. When you do exhale, palms face down. Fingers come in, wrist press forward. So inhale, fingers up. And exhale, fingers down. Inhale, fingers up. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Try to get the fingers pointing straight up when you inhale and then straight down when you exhale. Here we're working on stretching the wrists. So move from the wrists. Don't worry so much about the fingers, but move the body from the wrists. 
and relax the arms down, shake them out, circle the shoulders. Inhale, we'll take the arms out at shoulder level, palms facing the ceiling, spread the fingers. As you exhale, bring the fingertips in toward the shoulders. Keep the elbows lifted up. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. So again, movement comes from the elbows. So take the awareness to your elbows. Feel the movement of the elbow joint as you breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, the arms open. Exhale, the arms come in. Inhale, the arms open. Exhale, the arms pull in. Pause here for a moment, fingertips touching gently on the shoulders. We'll begin to move now the shoulders, shoulder joint. To bring the elbows together, make a big circle with the elbows and back as back, far back as is comfortable. Elbows draw in, even if they don't touch, that's okay. So as you inhale, the elbows start to move up. As you exhale, the elbows start to move down. Keep the shoulders relaxed. So where movement is coming from the shoulders, making circles with the elbows. And we'll go the opposite direction. So elbows moving in towards each other and down, open up awareness on the shoulder movement with the breath. Exhale, down, inhale, up. And the next time the elbows come in towards each other, pause and release. We'll move now to our last set of exercises for the neck. So taking a breath in, just keeping the neck neutral. As you exhale, right ear towards the right shoulder. Inhale up to center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale up to center. Exhale. And inhale again. Keep it nice and easy. Don't force the neck down. Move with the breath. If it helps, you can always close the eyes during any of these exercises. Just to turn the awareness inward to feel the body, feel the effects of the movements. Exhale over to the side. Inhale to center. Exhale off to the side. Inhale to center. Pausing here in the center. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, this time we turn the whole head to look over the right shoulder. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the left, so move the chin over towards the left shoulder. Back to center as you inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale, maybe begin to look a little bit beyond, behind the shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, off to the side. Inhale to center. Exhale to the side. Inhale to center. And exhale, release. Take a breath in. Exhale, chin toward the chest. Feel the stretch on the back of the neck. Inhale, chin, lift, chin lifts up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, chin lifts up. Again, nice and easy. No strain to the neck at all. Feel the stretch as you bend the head. Feel the stretch in the front of the neck as you lift up. Move the head with the breath. And as you exhale, come back to center. For our last exercise, we'll make circles with the neck. 
So begin by bringing the chin over towards the right side. As you exhale, the chin is gonna lower down toward the chest and over to the left. Inhale, head goes back, chin lifts. And exhale, chin begins to lower toward the chest. And then just keep circling the neck in this way. With the breath, nice and easy, nice and slow. Inhale, the head lifts and leans back. Exhale, chin comes down, head lowers. Keep the spine straight, so don't let the upper back curl in. Feel the movements of the neck. We start to take it to the other side, so other direction. Circling the neck in the opposite direction. Same movements though, as you inhale, the head lifts up and back. As you exhale, the chin comes down and forward. Try to keep the whole rest of the body relaxed. Gradually, whenever your body is ready, making those circles bigger. This last round. As you exhale, pause at the front, inhale, head lifts to center. And that was the end of part one. In part two, we're going to be working with the abdominal area. See you there.